Okay, welcome. We're gonna set the APN settings from AT&T to this Samsung Galaxy Prime, okay? So first you're gonna go to uh, settings and you're gonna go to in this section where you're gonna go access to more networks, okay? More networks and then uh, we're gonna go to mobile networks and access point names or APN depends on your phone. Try to find APN or access point names Okay, you already have a, a, a APN and you can uh, open a new window by touching the plus symbol. Other phones you need to go to the three dots, other phones at the bottom on menu. Okay, so let's go to plus to open a new window. And on name, we're going to set the following. It's going to be ATT phone uh, capital. So ATT. T space uh, phone or lowercase okay like that and then hit OK to save it now on APN you're gonna type the f, f, f p h o n e Oops. like that phone Okay, when you type that one, just hit OK. And then you're going to leave in blank proxy, port, username, password, server, MMSC. You're going to edit that and we are going to type HTTP, then uh, column slash slash MMSC dot mobile. dot att.net okay that will be your address for the MMSC model att.net then hit ok to save it <coughs> now MMS proxy we're gonna type proxy dot mobile.att.net okay that will be the address when you finish uh, just uh, hit ok to save it and then MMS port or multimedia message port is 8.0 hit ok to save <coughs> On mobile country code, make sure that it's 310. Um, if your phone is unlocked from another country, make sure to change that. Uh, MNC, mobile network code, also 410. Make sure to set the right one. Authentication type is uh, leaving blank. APN, APM type, um, it is already set as a default, comma, HIPRL. And then uh, we can add. Okay, so on APN type, we're going to add default HIPR, then uh, comma. And then we're going to add MMS, then comma. We're going to add SUPL, uh, comma. And FOTA is uh, F O T A. Okay, so those um, go only separated with uh, commas. Okay, so just uh, type those default H I P R I M M S S U P L F O T A separated with comma. Okay, so that's when you add that, just hit OK to save it. And then we're gonna go to APN protocol, we're not able to edit it. Uh, if your phone you are able to edit, just set to IPv4, uh, APN roaming protocol, IPv4, uh, turn APN on or off, turn it on, uh, better is an, an unspecified, more virtual network operator type, none, and um, 
mobile virtual type none okay so mobile virtual network operator value is not set okay so everything <coughs> that you're not able to edit it or you can edit just saying the value that we went through and once you finish type this APN just go to the uh, right top corner of the screen and save it okay all right so now we are here in this section just uh, turn touch the AT&T uh, APN to turn it on okay so make sure that the phone is unlocked and um, <coughs> at this point you should be able to see the um, um, network or data signal on your uh, notification bar but in this case now just go back and uh, go to mobile data and make sure standard data is on international well this one only if you go outside to US international roaming um, and then uh, let's try we see if there is another one we can so more network screen data usage so let's go to data usage mobile data is very important that is on also okay and alright so this is the APN settings for this phone and in, in case just reboot your phone and make sure that you get signal and you are able to access to the internet if not just go back to mobile networks and network operators and uh, it is also set default setup so automatically uh, has to register your sim card on on um, AT&T uh, towers so in case your phone says here um, <coughs> Uh, search networks, touch search, search networks, and your phone will start searching the networks around your area. And once you see AT&T on the screen, just select it. Once selected, you're gonna see at the bottom side and uh, register on network. If you don't get a message, if you get a message saying that unable to register on network, then uh, try the second time up to three times. If the fourth time it doesn't uh, give you the message register on network, that means that your SIM card um, slot might be defective, it doesn't uh, read your SIM card or uh, you need to contact um, in this case AT&T or T-Mobile and have them verify the IMEI number uh, or if your phone is from foreign country uh, make sure to call that company and verify the IMEI sometimes uh, the, the IMEI is blacklisted and they will um, block your IMEI you won't be able to catch up signal so the only way you can use your phone is uh, by them removing your phone from the blacklisted so please uh, call them to verify that and now um, uh, for picture message if you're not able to send picture message uh, have somebody to send you one and open it if you're still not able to send it uh, just take a picture and send it to your own phone number okay it means the phone number associated with the SIM card on your phone right now. Okay, so this is some troubleshoots that you can use uh, in case that you're not able to use internet or picture message. And um, well, this was the APN for the Galaxy Prime. Um, the phone must be unlocked in order to use it on AT&T, or you can use it on Sky Phone, Blue Phones, or any other Galaxy unlocked or any LG as far as. Uh, it's unlucky to work on the under AT&T network, okay? And this is the uh, 4G LTE APN setting, so just want to make sure that and uh, it, it, it was given uh, today, um, February 2016. So this is the latest APN from AT&T, okay? Well, uh, thank you for choosing my video. Any other questions, uh, let me know. Thank you.